we are really proud of having performed this clinical trial. Um, it's not been done before, believe it or not, believe it or not. I mean, we've done, we've been doing research on drugs, on procedures for decades, a century or more, right? But yet we've not done anything like this where you take a pre-prepared, right, kind of pre-dosed, pre-measured food intervention and, and, and give it to people to try and then measure the result in a free world, free living um, experiment, right? Many um, food trials have been done, but they're all very controlled. They're done in laboratories where people, you know, come in, they, their, their food is, is very, very controlled. So there's certain servings and, um, and when you're, you're testing, you know, one, one, um, intervention, everything else is, is the same from time to time. So, so it's a, it's, it's not a real world kind of setting. And, and we did a real world trial where, like I said earlier, we just gave people a box of food and said, Hey, just choose any two things out of here, you know, that, that you enjoyed, um, every day for the next 30 days, instead of something you're eating already, like that was it. Oh, and by the way, don't change anything else. You don't need to start exercising. We don't want you to like all of a sudden start eating salads morning, noon, and night. I mean, it would be great, but that, but we weren't testing that. We just wanted to see what would happen with the, with, with the foods alone. And, and even with that very minor change, uncontrolled with anyone, without anyone looking over the shoulders of our subjects to see whether or not they ate the food or not, we still achieved a, you know, very significant um, cholesterol reduction in the patient's sorry, subjects, um, using our foods as compared to when they kind of redid the experiment and used the, the control the control foods. Not everybody had a response. So not everybody had a cholesterol lowering um, response. And, and that's to some extent expected. Not everybody responds the same way to a drug. There's probably about 30% of people with every medication that have a less than, you know, less than hoped for response and sometimes even the opposite response. Like sometimes we give patients medications for migraine headaches and they actually get worse, not better. So, you know, so it's, it, it's not always, you know, things don't always work inside individual, um, patients the way we predict based upon, you know, experience, the average experience of, of, uh, of people who have taken the, the drug before. So at any rate, um, so not everyone had a, um, you know, a, a huge response, but two thirds of people did. They had cholesterol lowering effects that were clinically really impactful, like 10 plus percent reduction in LDL, which is a big deal. I mean, that's a same percent risk reduction. So, and some individuals had close to 40% LDL lowering, which is equivalent to high dose statin drugs. Not everyone. We don't, we don't pretend to promise the moon, but it only took 30 days to see what kind of response you can have to a food based intervention for cholesterol lowering. And again, remember the food part is really important no matter how you get your cholesterol down, whether it's food alone or whether it's food plus drug, because it's that, it's that foundation of dietary um, improvement that really boosts the risk reduction attained with cholesterol lowering.